Everyman Driver Nation, what's going on? It is time, time to say hello and goodbye as we have a new vehicle that just arrived here at the headquarters. Today we are saying goodbye to this 2017 Kia Sportage. This is the SX Turbo and it has all wheel drive, so I took it off road and just arrived here, 2017 Mitsubishi Outlander SEL. It has super all wheel control. So you know what I'm gonna do with this one this week? Stand by. Hey, let's do a final recap of what this car is all about. I have an off-road review that I did for you, which is pretty cool about this one. This is a burnished copper, by the way. What's cool about this one, I had this car 16 months ago. I went to the ORV park, so I went again to the ORV, over at ORV park and did the same route, basically, as I did 16 months ago. So you'll be able to see how it compared to last year. Uh, this has a two liter turbo four-cylinder six-speed automatic transmission this gets 240 horsepower 260 pound-feet of torque and an update to my miles per gallon i ended up exceeding the average what they say is the mixed driving number of 22 i ended up getting 23 and a half uh, driving this car this week so it exceeded my expectations and in my video of off-road i said it was around 21 i ended up doing 23 and a half so it did pretty well this one let's go inside real quick uh, a final recap of what this one looks like and what it's all about. So this has Apple CarPlay through the USB port, which was nice because I was able to sync my phone to it. Seven inch touchscreen display here, different quadrants of information. Uh, so you've got a map, radio, which is gonna be right here. Once you press these screens, it kind of takes you to a full screen, I really like that. And it's taking forever to fire up, there it is. Steering wheel mounted controls, good stuff here with your Bluetooth technology, cruise control, nice. I think it's a four and a half inch uh, touch uh, LCD in the center of the instrument cluster. Very smooth driving car. So I've already done a review on it when I did a press launch in February of 2016, I think it was. Anyways, I really like this one. It's a lot of fun to drive. Got some cooled and heated seats, heated steering wheel down below. This is the top trim level of the this goes lx ex and uh, sx turbo we have the sx turbo different drive modes eco normal and sport it's got this uh, cool downhill brake control which i featured in my off-road review as well as uh, all-wheel drive four-wheel lock that is and uh yeah so you're gonna see more of this off-road and i had my kind of my just arrived video from last week so you can see that Plenty of room in the back for three passengers. It's got 30 cubic feet of volume of cargo behind here. And then you fold those seats down, it goes to about 60. So here's a look as we're doing a exchange today. So pretty decent. Now let's go to our feature vehicle of the week. Now I just got this one. I do know it has a 2.4 liter four cylinder. The downside, well, at least compared to this one, it's got a CVT, continuously variable transmission. Not sure on the horsepower since it just arrived, what, 10, 15 minutes ago. And I believe I've taken this one off road, but I'm not quite sure. So it should be interesting to see how this one works this week. Let's show you what this looks like inside. This too is a seven inch screen. Go ahead and start it up. This has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capabilities with this one. I do like what they've done here, Mitsubishi, with their color display. This is gonna look really sharp when it pops up here in a second. Eco mode, real simple with its temperature and climate controls. Let's go ahead and agree to that. There it goes, look at those colors. See, it's, it's finally up to speed to what we should see nowadays. Sirius, can it slide? Yep, that's nice, isn't it? USB port, vehicle information. So fuel economy, oh my gosh, look at the guy's dry. He's been averaging almost 27 miles per gallon and he just topped it off. Like this is the first time I've been in the car. Look at that green score rating. You can reset averages. So this ought to be good. I like how you can slide that back and forth. Steering wheel magic controls, pretty standard, real basic. There's not uh, much over here. I guess that is con cruise control, Bluetooth, trash control, uh, trunk release, 
Nothing new right there. Doesn't look like anything too crazy that. Uh, blind spot warning. There's your super all-wheel control for locking that. So there's all-wheel control, eco, normal, snow, and locking mode. Pull the brake, heated seats. USB port, where is that at? It might be in here. Hey, I'm just getting it, so I'm not sure exactly. That's what these just arrives are all about. Just checking it out. And there is a sliding sunroof here. The uh, Kia has a panoramic sunroof. So the, the, the Kia gets some bonus points right there. What we got for back seat leg room. Oh, are these those seats? Are these the seats that... Uh... Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about those. So that does what? I think that helps you fold these down. Oh, so this is three rows. Oh, look at that. So you got three rows of seating. Interesting. So this is definitely a bigger car than the Sportage. So those pop out. Oh, what's this do? If the seat fold doesn't fold flat. Ah, oh, huh. Well, maybe I'll have to do a little more than go off-roading in that. Take a look at the exterior compared to the Sportage. So a little bit bigger over here. This is probably, you know, I guess a compact crossover, whereas this is a mid-size crossover. Let's check out the cargo volume behind the back row of seats. Ooh, not a lot. Not a lot because of that third row. But let's say you put that third row down, which you do like that. And we'll do the Everman driver full body test. <laughs> this is the way to go. If we're gonna do it, um, keep the middle row up and the back row down and you can put Dave in the back here. So there you go, it's got a Foz, is it Fosgate, what's it called? Uh, the uh, Rockford Fosgate sound system. It's very durable, hard plastics, which means uh, you can put some stuff back here. It also, if there's any water, it'll pool up. This looks pretty durable. What's under here? Oh, headrests are hidden there. And you do have a power to come on down. So here's another angle of the cars. Fuel economy is 24 city, 29 highway for a mixed driving number of 26. And this vehicle has an MSRP right around, this one does, right around $30,000. So let's kind of uh, finish this up as we say goodbye to our Kia Sportage today and hello to our Mitsubishi Outlander. Should be a fun week. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below and uh, I'll take a look at it. Have a good one. Adios, thanks for subscribing. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting Everyman Driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number, 844-765-0610, and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.